the Mini ITX GameCube case has been one of my all-time favorite cases. However, because it has very little case flow, and it can't fit any hard drives and only fits a dual slot video card up to an RX 460, it's time for an upgrade. Fortunately, taking apart everything that's in the old GameCube isn't that hard as it was designed to be upgraded frequently. One of the things I forgot to do was make easy access to adding the fourth screw in that bottom right corner, so I only installed three originally. Fortunately, most of my commitment issues extend only to computer hardware decisions. With all of the computer internals out, it's time to take a look at this new case, or rather, a display stand. As you can see, this new case is quite a bit smaller. It's way more compact. You can download it for free, thanks to the link on my website down in the description, and it will also come with downloads for a 3.5 inch hard drive adapter and washers. You will need to print it all, and you can print it all at once if you so desire. The case itself measures 20 centimeters by 20 and a half centimeters by 16 centimeters. If you have an XYZ DaVinci Pro like I do, this just barely doesn't fit, which is why there's an inverse layout where the video card would go at the top of the case, and that will fit in an XYZ DaVinci Pro. Once you've got the motherboard on the front, you'll need to make a washer sandwich here so that the solder joints on the back of the motherboard aren't pressed up against the case. And you'll line up the screw through it just like this, taking care to make sure you've got a washer in the middle and a nut on the end. Although it would work better if you used traditional hardware rather than bad puns. And to see what that assembly looks like in real life, here you go. I find it easier to attach the bottom first and then do the top second. The power supply itself isn't screwed in in any particular way, although there are lips and edges around the bottom to keep it from sliding off. So this frame with a three and a half inch drive allows this computer to function as an HTPC. With the OS and games installed on an NVMe drive mounted to the motherboard and a four terabyte mechanical drive for all of my media. So besides allowing me to mount a three and a half inch drive and show off more of the internal hardware, the thermal benefit is immense. Typically, the GameCube would hit 75 degrees Celsius and would throttle a little bit. Now with it on an open frame, it runs about four degrees Celsius cooler. Not much, but it's honest work. Besides better thermals just by being in an open case, I can also attach a Wraith Prism cooler, the one that comes with the 2700X, because in the GameCube, it was too cramped and wouldn't fit, but thanks to this open frame, it does fit. And this drastically brings our thermals down, and I was able to overclock the core to 3.85 gigahertz, the memory at 2933, and the GPU up to 1565 megahertz. So we get better thermals, better performance, we get to show off the hardware, and attach more drives. Overall, it's a win-win. Plus, now our cooler has RGB, so that alone doubles our frame rate. Because this is a downloadable file that you can edit in whatever 3D software you use, you can add cable attach points on the right-hand side. You can make cutouts for a fancy power button if you so choose. The possibilities are as endless as your imagination and skills with CAD software. I've already got a few other case designs in the works, which you'll be able to find on that website, so give it a bookmark if you want. Give this channel a subscribe, give this video a like, and leave a comment down below if you have any cases you'd like me to design, or any other 3D files or adapters you'd like to print in the future that you can't find files for. Hope you enjoyed this content, see you in the next one.